Hey, Homestead Prepper. This is part two of the bogey trailer. I've kind of got everything out in a disarray right now. My uh, work table is not going to be big enough for the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my trailer here as a makeshift work table. Should be plenty big enough. That is a piece of 2x4 by 3 16 rectangular tubing steel. And that over there is a piece of 3x3 by 3 by 16 I got some other steel there on the ground. So I'm going to lay it out, use this, I'm going to cut it, and we'll see about putting it together. Okay, this stuff is so heavy I can't move it and put it under my chop saw. So I'm using uh, just my skill saw with a metal cutting blade in it. I got some gloves on, herring protection. And I'm using this so that I can keep that... Um, iron dust out of my lungs and you know you get those like oysters in your nose so okay I'm gonna be putting this on all right well, let's see if we can make a cut I need to bevel the edges and clean it up a little bit so okay I got my pieces cut I've got them lined up. The, the center piece is going on the edge. I'll fold that in a little bit. But for right now, let me see how this is working out. And you can look and see that's pretty darn square. You can flip it around. Just make sure. And oh, yeah. And we'll look on this end. You notice I got these C clamps here to hold this on, and I'm using the edge of the trailer right there to hold this thing up so okay that's nice and square we'll flip it around and we don't have any gaps so it's looking pretty good so okay I got one side welded up here and I got to put the other side on and it uh, was not square so I'm having to bow these out a little bit I may have to heat this up, but it needs to be square. So let's um, let's take it to the next level here. Okay, this trailer is making an excellent work table for making another trailer. Uh, you can lay it on the concrete and make jigs and put tapcons in it, but this this gives me a lot of versatility right here. If you've seen what I've done, I've uh, to support this last piece here because the the trailer is not wide enough. Uh, I've just put a piece of angle iron there with a C-clamp. I've done the same thing over here on this side, and that just holds it up. I've got it tacked on there. Well, it's a little more than a tack weld, but I've got this square. It's square over there, square over there. It's off just a little bit. I've measured the diagonals, so I need to tweak with it. Um, if you don't know what the diagonals are, if you measure from there to there, and you measure from there to there, I've got about 152. If they're the same, then it's square. So that's what I'm doing. So let me uh, just do a little more finagling here and we'll get this thing right.
Okay, we'll just take off my little helpers right here. to slide it over and I'm thinking about putting the axles on it right now upside down okay I got my first axle up here I've uh, just got it zip tied for right now those uh, actually slide in and out so I was able to adjust it if you come over here this axle slides into this one but it was not long enough to maintain my eight feet so what I've done is that old scrap piece of metal I welded that in there this was actually some stuff I had left over from my barbecue project so I'm gonna weld that on there and then that will slide in and out and then I can get my proper adjustment okay I got my axles just kind of laid up here I uh, I got a little bolting down. I need to raise them up. I need to make some plates to hold the thing on. But basically, it's a lot easier to work on it like this than it would be to work on it upside down. Which I guess you could say I'm working on it upside down. But uh, I, I'm missing a couple of these things right here, which I've traced out a piece of metal. And I'm going to cut those out. I need four more of them. And then I'll be able to hook all that together and then raise it to the appropriate height and make the uh, brackets that hold this on and that will hold that on. So that's, that's where we're at right now.